safety system bow hunting is an extreme sport taking a hunter into some crazy and wild places beautiful majestic and sometimes very dangerous bow hunter friend and co-host of sportsman of north america mike mccabe has found out just how dangerous the sport can really be on may 24th while on a bear hunt in alberta canada mike was filming keith powell as a monstrous chocolate phase black bear strolled into sight Excitement filled the air as Mike leaned up and whispered to Keith, I'm going to make your day. Here comes a giant chocolate. Mike proceeded to move into filming position and powered up the camera. The tragic event that followed will be deeply etched into our minds here at Sportsman of North America. Mike's friends and family never imagined how impactful a tragedy of this magnitude would affect their everyday life. Mike's tree stand gave way. After falling 25 feet, Mike hit the ground. The impact instantly knocked Mike's breath out. Keith quickly scrambled down the tree to Mike's side. Mike insisted on sharing his story with you. So maybe you, your friends, and your family will never go through the nightmare he and his family have experienced. Here's his story. Hi, my name's Mike McCabe with Sportsman in North America. You've already taken your first step in staying safe by purchasing a hunter safety vest. Now you need to take the second step. And the second step is, you need to make a solemn vow to your loved ones, to the people that care for you, that you will always wear that vest. When you go into the woods, every year, hundreds of men and women enter the woods in our pursuit of our great sport. You need to make that solemn vow that you will always wear that safety harness. Because I tell you what, one year ago, on this spot, I fell out of that tree behind me. I broke my back and a bunch of other bones to boot. And I tell you what, I had a hunter safety vest on my bed back at the lodge. Now, a fat lot of good it did me back there. The problem is I was in such a hurry, like we always are. We've got to get going. He's getting ready to leave. We packed all our stuff up, got the cameras and the bows. And I headed out and I forgot to put the vest on. Well, here's how it goes. I got to the stand. What I should have done is to make the decision either not to hunt that day or to sit on the ground like I'm having to do now and hunt off the ground. What I should have done is I should have considered not just myself, I should have considered my loved ones and my family. Because when something like this happens, it doesn't just impact the person, it impacts your whole family. So what you need to do is make sure whenever you go to the woods, whenever you put that foot on that step, or on the run of that ladder to get up in a stand and you're not wearing a safety harness, don't do it. Stay on the ground or go back. Don't hunt that day because missing one day's hunt is not such a big deal. Ending up like this is, I'm going to tell you now, this is a great sport. We love it. I live for it. This is how I make my living. And I still do it and I'm grateful for it. But there's a lot of situations where people have fell and they've died. And you need to make that vow to your loved ones never to get in the stand without wearing your safety system. I wish you all the best on your endeavors because I tell you what, I'm still doing it and I know you love to do it too. So good luck and all the best. God bless you and stay safe. Avoid life-threatening injuries with the Lifeline by Hunter Safety System. Allows you to be connected to the tree from the moment you leave the ground to the moment you return. Don't let your next hunt be your last. Hunter Safety System. Safety just got easier with the new Pro Series from Hunter Safety System. It's an all-new design with these more comfortable and convenient features. Don't let your next hunt be your last. Hunter Safety System.